Hey everyone, my name is Ben Weir and I'm an applications expert here at Epigrid. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about some of the ways that you can connect to one of our VDIs or virtual desktop interfaces and some of the pros of each of those methods. So without any further ado, let's go and take a look. But before I show you how to connect to the VDI, I want to talk to you about the two ways in which you connect to the VDI. The first way, and our more common way, is to use VMware Horizon Client. Let's talk about some of the pros to using the VMware Horizon Client. You have better visual performance, you have USB pass-through, e.g. 3D CAD mouse or a printer or something along those lines. You have folder sharing, which allows you to drag and drop files between your local drive and the VDI, or vice versa. And you have support for up to four monitors. The second way in which you can connect to one of our VDIs is using an HTML link to gain web access. This obviously requires no software installation and gives you instant access from any device. All you need is an internet connection and a web browser. This could be Chrome, Internet Explorer, Firefox, Safari, or whatever you want to use. The benefit of this is it gives you a lot of freedom and flexibility about where you work. For example, I was in the back of an Uber the other day and I used my phone as a hotspot, connected to it from my laptop, opened Chrome, typed in an HTML link, and there I was, working in the back of a taxi in New Jersey through one of the VDIs in Atlanta, Georgia. It really only takes a few seconds to connect. Let me go ahead and show you how to connect using VMware Horizon Client and an HTML link to gain web access. I'm going to start by running the VMware Horizon Client software. I'm going to add a new server. I'm going to enter the connection server name. Press connect. And then I'm going to enter the username, password, and domain name. Once I've done this, I'm going to select login and I'm going to double click on the new server. Once I do this, it's going to open, log in, and then I'm ready to use the VDI. I'm going to go ahead and open SolarWorks, and then I'll open a part just to demonstrate how easy it is to use. I'll open this motor part. As you can see, it runs very quickly. The hardware inside of the data center is incredibly good. Any lag is due to your own internet speed. I'm going to close this, I'm going to open up Google Chrome, and I'm going to show you the internet speed within the data center side by side with an internet speed at home. On the left is my home internet, and on the right is the internet speed in the data center. As you can see, we're nearly getting one gigabit per second in the data center, and at home, I'm getting about 75 megabits per second. I'm going to go ahead and close this. I'm going to come up to the top menu, select options, and then disconnect and log off. I'm now going to do exactly the same thing in Google Chrome using the server connection name. I'm going to go ahead and type this in in the URL box at the top of the screen. And then I'm going to select VMware Horizon HTML access. I'm going to go through this similar process as I did with VMware Horizon. I'm going to enter in all of the login details. And then I'm going to select the VDI that I want to go into and it's going to open up in a tab like any other tab. I can have YouTube or anything else open in another tab and when I go back it's just a view of the desktop. I'll go ahead and open SolarWorks and while it's loading I'm going to go into the other tab and just do a basic internet search just to show that you can have it running in the background on another tab. I'm going to go back into SolarWorks and I'm going to open up that same part file and demonstrate how quick and fast it is opening a part in this tab. As you can see, the performance is just the same. The only limiting factor in the performance would be your own internet limiting the visual performance on the screen. Now that I'm done with this part file, I'm going to go ahead and close the other tab, and then I'm going to close SolarWorks and show you that I'm still operating within this desktop, however, I'm just in a tab on Google Chrome. This allows you to have a lot of flexibility. I'm going to come to the options and I'm going to log off and it's going to return to my local desktop. It's as simple as that. 